Dear students, my name is Ainu Hizbolova and I'm Associate Professor of Managing and Marketing Department of Muhtar Awezov South Kazakhstan University. And the discipline is management and one of the theme of this discipline we will consider today. And now just a uh, theme of uh, just um, considering today's uh, team building and collaboration and the plan of, of our this team is uh, building effective teams, group dynamics and team. Uh, roles and conflict resolution within teams. And here just a uh, uh, definition about its, uh, uh, team building is understanding what constitutes an effective team. And importance is uh, uh, why team building just uh, is crucial for organizational success. And uh, here just uh, group dynamics, it's a concept, uh, the study of how people just in groups interact with one, just another. And stage of team development is um, forming, it means it's um, storming, norming, and performing, and adjourning. And here just uh, forming team, is just the uh, members get acquainted, uh, and storming its conflict arise as the members express differing opinions, and the norming its uh, uh, team develops cohesion just in norms, and the uh, performing team reaches optimal functioning. And adjourning it's a team disbands after just achieving its goals. And the team roles, it's uh, Belbin's team roles, uh, overview of different roles individuals play within team and uh, just a uh, plan uh, resource investigator, coordinate, uh, shaper, implement, uh, complete finisher and specialist. And here just a role balance ensuring a mix of roles for effective team performance. And personal strengths and weaknesses is um, how understanding individual roles can enhance team dynamics. Next, we need to build effective teams. It's a choosing team members based on, on skills, roles, and capability, establishing shared objectives, fostering in an environment where members feel comfortable sharing ideas, and building a foundation for strong relationships. And next one is ensuring the team has what it needs to succeed. And next one, we can just consider conflict resolution within teams. And um, here, just understanding conflicts, it's a type of conflicts we have that's a test, and task conflict, relationship conflict, and process conflict. And causes of conflict, it's a difference in values, interests, and opinions. And here, just uh, conflict resolution strategy, it's ignoring the conflict and uh, giving it in to maintain harmony, just uh, assertively pursuing one's own goals. And next one is finding a middle ground and working together to find a emotional, just beneficial solution. And here, just um, we can see the just conflict resolution techniques. And it's the uh, first one is uh, active listening. It's um, ensuring all parties feel heard and understood. And next one is a negotiation, discussing and agreeing on solution that addresses the concern of all parties. And mediation is using a neutral third party to facilitate resolution. And problem solving is focusing on the issue rather than personal differences. And preventing conflict, it's a clear communication. It's setting expectation and addressing issues promptly. And building strong relationships is um, uh, fostering positive team environment. And next one is the training and development is providing skills and training for conflict management. And here just uh, next one is a successful conflict resolution examples. And um, example, Google project, um, just um, Aristotle, just a scenario is um, uh, Google initiated a project Aristotle just to, to understand why some teams were just more successful than others. And the project revealed that uh, psychological safety was the most significant factors. And resolution strategy of this case is that Google focused on building a culture where team members felt safe to express their ideas and concerns without fear of judgment. And the outcomes of these uh, teams that embraced open communication and supported and one another just were more innovative and uh, productive. And next one is the um, success of conflict resolution examples and uh, Southwest Airlines customer service approach. And here just a scenario of this case is um, Southwest Airlines faced conflicts arising from overbooked flights and customer uh, dissatisfaction. 
and the strategy of this uh, case is as a company implements conflict resolution and strategies that's, in, that's involved training staff to handle a compliance with empathy and offering compensation or rebooking options quickly. And outcomes of this case is um, by addressing conflicts effectively and uh, prioritizing customer service, Southwest Highlines maintain <coughs> higher customer satisfaction and loyalty. And also we have that um, unsuccessful conflict examples. And the first one is um, the United Nations and the uh, Rwandan uh, genocide in 1994. It's uh, the United Nations was criticized for its failure to prevent or just held the uh, genocide just during which over 800,000 people were killed and here just resolution failure is despite having information about its uh, impending genocide just the United Nations response was slow and um, inadequate in this case and political and logistical challenges contribute to the failure in this case and the outcome of this Example is uh, the lack of timely intervention and effective conflict resolution led to massive loss of life and highlighted the need for more robust international mechanism for preventing genocide. And unsuccessful conflict resolution example is the uh, next one, just a global financial crisis was triggered by conflict with just um, within the financial sector related to risky mortgage lending and uh, inadequate regulatory oversight and uh, resolution failure here just as an initial response involved fermented and uh, often inconsistent measures from various governments and institutions and um, the lack of a, a cohesive strategy exacerbated just the crisis and um, outcomes it's has a crisis resulted in several severe global economic just uh, downturns and illustrating the consequences of ineffective conflict resolution in regulatory and financial systems. And of course its uh, key takeaways is um, successful scenarios, is um, effective conflict resolution often involves clear communication, empathy and willingness to compromise or collaborate to find mutually beneficial solutions. And of course, it's unsuccessful scenarios that the failures often arise from an in inadequate responses, lack of timely intervention or failure to address underlying issues comprehensively. And here just we consider that the key trends in team building and collaboration and um, the future of team building and collaboration is likely to be shaped by several emerging trends. And first one is uh, just the uh, remote team models and uh, uh, trends of this uh, type just uh, as uh, remote and hybrid just work environments become more common and teams will need to adapt their collaboration strategy to bridge uh, just the physical distances. And the implication of this uh, effective use of digital tools and technologies will be crucial for maintaining team just and productivity. And virtual team building activities and remote collaboration platforms will play a significant role. And here just uh, increased use uh, of artificial intelligence and automation. Uh, here just um, AI just in, uh, automation tools will increasingly support team collaboration by handling repetitive just uh, tasks, analyzing team performance and providing insights. And implication is the team can focus more on strategic and creative tasks while just leveraging AI for data driving, just driven decision making and enhanced productivity. And a great emphasis of emotional intelligence and soft skills. We can see that some um, um, trends of emotional intelligence and soft skills is a, um, communication and other soft skills will become increasingly important for effective team uh, collaboration. And uh, training and development programs will focus on enhancing these skills to improve into just interpersonal relationships and conflict resolution with teams. And next one, it's data-driven team management. It's um, uh, trends, the use of data analytics will increase in managing and optimizing team performance. And implication is manager will leverage his data to identify strengths, weaknesses, and areas for Im improvement, leading to more informed decision making and enhanced team dynamics. 
And um, in conclusion, I would like to note that some effective team buildings and um, a collaboration and fundamental uh, to achieving organizational success and fostering a productive work environment. It's um, by understanding group dynamics and clearly defining just team roles, organizations just um, and can create um, just um, cohesive teams that leverage uh, just uh, diverse strengths and perspectives. And um, here just proactive conflict resolution further enhances team effectiveness, addressing issues, just issues constructively and uh, maintaining a positive atmosphere. And so just open communication, mutual respect and a focus on shared goals, teams can navigate challenges and just to drive innovations. And ultimately, just investing in team building and collaboration not only improves operational efficiency, but also uh, just to cultivate a supportive and engaged workforce. Thank you for your attention.